Hey, it's Chrono Pixel Gaming. Want to share your passions with the world? Live streaming offers an amazing platform to do just that. Whether it's gaming, music, art, or just chatting, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, empowers you to share your unique voice. OBS is your digital broadcasting studio, and the best part, it's completely free and surprisingly easy to use. This guide is your roadmap to mastering OBS. Ready to transform your online presence and captivate your audience? Let's dive in. We'll start with the basics and gradually level up your skills. So, what are you waiting for? Let's embark on this exciting journey together and make your mark on the digital world. Before the curtain rises, we need our stage. For OBS, that means downloading and installing the software. Head over to the official OBS Studio website. It's important to download from the official source to avoid any unwanted surprises. You'll find different versions for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Choose the one that matches your operating system. Click the download button and wait for the file to download. Once it's done, locate the downloaded file. It usually ends in .xc for Windows, DMG for Mac, or .tar.dgz for Linux. Double-click the file to start the installation process. You'll be guided through a series of simple steps. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Typically, you can go with the default options. Once the installation is complete, you'll find the OBS Studio icon on your desktop or in your Applications folder. Congratulations! You've successfully installed OBS. Now, you're ready to take your first step into the world of live streaming. Opening OBS for the first time might feel like stepping into a spaceship cockpit. Don't worry, it's all simpler than it looks. Let's break down the key areas of the interface. Think of it as your control room for managing your stream. At the bottom, you'll find the Scenes section. A scene is like a layout for your stream. Imagine it as a container holding different elements like your webcam, game capture, or images. Next to Scenes is Sources. Sources are the individual elements within a scene. Your webcam feed is a source, your game capture is a source, and so on. You can add, remove, and rearrange sources within a scene to create the perfect look for your stream. The large central area is the preview window. It shows you a live preview of what your stream will look like. On the right side, you have the mixer and transition sections. The mixer allows you to control the audio levels of your different sources. Ready to create your first masterpiece? Let's set up a basic scene with your webcam and a game capture. In the scene section, click the plus button to add a new scene. You can give it a name like gameplay or just chatting. Now, let's add your webcam as a source. Click the plus button in the sources section. From the list, choose video capture device. This will open a new window. Select your webcam from the drop-down menu and adjust the resolution and other settings if needed. Click OK and voila, you should now see your webcam feed in the preview window. Next, let's capture your game footage. Click the plus button in Sources again. This time, choose Game Capture. In the new window, select Capture Specific Window and choose your game from the drop-down list. Adjust the settings as needed and click OK. Section 5 adding flavor, incorporating different sources. OBS isn't just about webcams and games, it's about bringing your entire creative vision to life. Let's explore some other exciting sources you can add to your scenes. Want to display images, logos, or even animated overlays? Choose image from the sources menu. Want to share your screen or a specific application window? Display capture and window capture are your friends. Feeling musical? Add audio input. Capture to bring in music from your computer or even a separate audio interface. Set the mood, add background music, or even have a live music performance. Text is another powerful source. Add static text for titles, subtitles, or even scrolling text for announcements or news tickers. Experiment, explore, and don't be afraid to get creative. Section 6. Crystal clear audio configuring your mic and sound. Great audio is just as important as visuals, especially for streaming. Let's fine-tune your microphone and sound settings for crystal clear communication. In the OBS interface, look for the mixer section. You'll see separate sliders for different audio sources, including your microphone and desktop audio. 
Click the gear icon next to your microphone slider and select Properties. This will open the audio settings for your microphone. Choose the correct microphone device from the drop-down menu if it's not already selected. Adjust the volume slider to a comfortable level. You can also enable noise suppression and noise gate filters to reduce background noise and improve audio clarity. Section 7. Streaming Ready. Choosing your platform and settings. With your scenes and audio setup, it's time to connect OBS to your preferred streaming platform. OBS supports a wide range of platforms, including Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, and more. In OBS, go to Settings and select Stream. Under Service, choose your desired platform from the drop-down menu. You'll need to link your account by providing your stream key. Each platform has a different way of obtaining your stream key. Refer to the platform's help documentation for specific instructions. Once you have your stream key, paste it into the designated field in OBS. Under Output Settings, you can adjust the video bitrate, resolution, and other encoding settings. Click Apply to save your settings. Section 8. Going Live. Your first stream awaits. Take a deep breath, it's showtime. With everything set up, going live is just a click away. In OBS, ensure your desired scene is selected and everything looks perfect in the preview window. Double check your audio levels in the mixer to ensure everything is balanced. Once you're ready, simply click the Start Streaming button in the bottom right corner of the OBS interface. OBS will now start sending your video and audio feed to your chosen streaming platform. Depending on your platform, there might be a short delay before your stream goes live. While streaming, keep an eye on the OBS interface for any warnings or errors. Engage with your viewers, have fun, and let your personality shine through. Section 9. Beyond the Basics. Exploring Advanced Features. Once you've mastered the basics, OBS offers a treasure trove of advanced features to take your streams to the next level. Explore filters within the Sources section to add creative effects, color correction, and more. Dive into the world of hotkeys to control various aspects of OBS with just a few keystrokes. Studio Mode is a game-changer for seamless transitions and professional-looking streams. For streamers who want to record their gameplay or content, OBS has robust recording capabilities. OBS supports plugins, opening up a world of possibilities for customization and integration with other tools. The OBS community is vast and incredibly helpful. Section 10. Conclusion Mastering OBS One Stream at a Time Congratulations! You've embarked on an exciting journey into the world of live streaming with OBS. Remember, the key is to start simple, experiment, and gradually explore the software's capabilities. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're valuable learning experiences. Focus on creating engaging content, interacting with your audience, and most importantly, having fun. So go ahead, hit that Start Streaming button and unleash your creativity. The world awaits your unique voice and perspective. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and if you want to watch Chrono Pixel Gaming live, he's on Twitch at Chrono Pixel Gaming.